Yo, what's good everybody? Um, I want to welcome you guys to another NBA 2K25 video. Today we're going to talk about what people aren't telling you about NBA 2K25, my career. In my last video, we talked about Rebirth and there were still a few questions about that video and I tried to answer as many comments as I could inside the comment section, but I appreciate your feedback as well as big big shout out to ikc nation for actually helping others within those comments you know sometimes i can't be everywhere at one time so i really appreciate everybody helping each other out inside the comment section now for today's video i actually grinded yes five minute quarters rookie difficulty all key games no jersey swaps in the playoffs um what i want to tell you guys is the thing that people isn't telling you about my career is that there are things that you can grind for that i think you should really go for um i did about a six and a half hour stream actually showcasing getting started now that six and a half hour stream was me bull crapping around doing a whole bunch of stuff with the chat and everything like that. So I believe that if you were somebody that that's not a streamer, you can knock this out in about three hours. OK, just three hours of straight grinding. And I'm going to tell you what you have to do right here. First things first. Yes, I am an NBA champion. Yes, I have started a bunch of different quests and completed a bunch of different quests. As you guys can see, I have the actual championship ring on my index finger and I actually have the champion champion hoodie from you know being an nba champion now i'm going to take you through all of the quests and the quest lines that i do have and that i did complete and why they are so important all right now the first thing is for this quest i'm going to show you all of the ones that i completed that are really really key so of course i won the championship like i told you guys finishing strong which is finishing uh or simming your end of your season games the rookie of the year goal so basically when you're inside of my career and you start getting into your key games you have to choose two times on what you want your vision your tunnel vision like ending to be i chose to become the rookie of the year because you only get to do it one time all the other options of things that i could choose from you can do those as you go on with your career because your career can be lengthy but in your rookie season you only get that option one time so i chose to do it so that's why i have the personal goal of rookie of the year now you may be looking like yo a thousand vc that's nothing but what ended up happening was i kept going up against rookies now if anybody knows how the nba works most of the time the top talent that are rookies are on terrible teams terrible teams so guess what i kept doing i kept playing against the bottom of the effing barrel every single time i played the games right now don't worry about the street ball don't worry about that um there was another one that i want to show you guys okay franchise player troubled in paradise now you get this quest as you start doing your key games and you get about maybe five key games into your first six you will get a full 12 key games for your rookie season all right and the reason for this is because you get to choose that personal goal twice now what ended up happening to me here is that I had to choose what I wanted to do to get the influencing of trades. Now, I know that that may not be big to some, but for people who like the my GM aspect of my career, where you actually get to decide and have influence and make sure people don't leave you or you might want to pick up somebody else from another team to create a super team. Getting that was super, super important to me. Now, of course, I tried to get Caleb Martin's average up to 11.1, but I couldn't get it there without him outscoring me every game. So I just decided to use him for every single key game in a pick and fade situation. So whoever you are fighting with or whatever the case may be, if they have a pretty good three ball, remember you're playing on rookie five minute quarters it's not going to be hard and also play on normal risk as well for your shooting profile do not use a uh, high risk reward because if it's not green it won't go in now i made sure that caleb would probably make about six to seven threes per game but i then would still outscore caleb every game to make sure that I kept my average up and that i was bringing his average up but by the time i got to 75 uh actions of him being on the court I took all of his minutes, 
rebuilt the rotation and i'll show you how to do that in a second um after i built rebuilt the rotation i was cool i was like yo caleb your joint is done trouble in paradise is over i don't gotta speak to you ever again i got it done quickly a lot of people that was uh watching me on stream told me to just invite him to an open run in the off season no and i'm gonna tell you why i'm glad i didn't decide that option because that option would have taken away 25,000 VC out of my pocket. And I'm gonna tell you what I mean. So first off, I wanted to show y'all what I meant by rebuilding the rotation. This is our, well, of course, this is the God Darn Team USA, but you can come inside of here and rebuild your rotation of your team. Um, by the time I was building in Caleb, he had 29 minutes on my team at Power Forward. By the time I was done, he had nine minutes at the bottom of the barrel, okay? So that that's what we ended up doing there. Now, what I want to tell you guys about the 25 KVC is this is an off season activity that is granting you access to play in FIBA in 2027. Now, of course, this starts out with 2025 and all of that stuff like that. So it will only take you up to three seasons to get into that FIBA tournament for that 25 K. So remember, if you only got to play 12 key games, you can skip all of the jersey swaps you can skip all the all-star weekend you can even sim the playoffs and only play the games that you need to play in order to win the championship and keep going it won't take you that long on five minute quarters and also remember when you're in my career your own rookie five minute quarters on normal risk reward shooting profile when you're up 25 after the half you can sub out so basically you can sim and ask for VC. Once you do that, y'all win by 20 every game and you keep going. You keep moving on. Now, let's go back to the completed uh quest real fast. Um, trash talk. I did not complete this. Um, it's only a hundred VC, but I know that it would have given me a better cutscene and stuff like that because I tried 17 times to dunk on Anthony Davis and he just would not let me dunk on him. Like this, the, the stream was watching it on Twitch and they were like, bro, Ant is running from you. And, and, and it is what it is. Now, remember when I told you about goal setting meeting second half, remember when I told you that you can pick your goals twice this is the actual completion of that second meeting that i told you about as far as the personal goals now remember personal goal rookie riser i chose everything as a rookie because i was a rookie and that's the only time that you get to actually be a rookie all right now uh what else we have franchise player earn your keep basically to influence the rotation you come in and you have to just complete two objectives once you earn your keep you easily come in you start messing around with the rotation like i told you guys you can do and you good to go um basically when it comes to my career it's not many cutscenes. the only cutscenes that you will truly get is a couple after game like after key game cutscenes where you go to the you know the, the media room and talk to reporters um you you probably get uh interviewed by two or three magazine covers inside the practice facility and there's a lengthy cutscene, about four or five of them of a talk show about two um, former NBA players and an analyst talking about you. They're very lengthy. They're very dry, not very humorous, but at the end of your rookie season, you will be in a few of those ep episodes and you can use that as content or whatever the case may be. But I think you should just do them. Just don't skip through them. Just watch them. It only takes about three to five minutes per one. All right. Now, um, I just want to make sure that we go through everything. Dynasty jacket. Like I said, Play your first three key games, you get a Dynasty jacket. I'm going to show you guys my Dynasty jacket and what patches I've actually um, gotten on it. Uh, what else we got? We got the first endorsements, become a starter. I, I outperformed Eric Gordon three times. First three games, it was over. You know what I'm saying? You play your first three uh, key games to get your jacket and to get your starting spot. Knock it out the park. Five minute quarters, rookie. You're good. All right. Um, Now, uh, also... I know y'all probably seen uh, the completed FIBA joint. Um, I just want I just want to show y'all that the heart of the dynasty stuff. Make sure you do all of your heart of the dynasty stuff. It's only season level XP, but if you're not level forty and you need 
a, a, a extra boost to that get to level 40 you know what i'm saying get your little you know your unlocks and stuff like that and you'll be good now let me show you my jacket for a second so that everybody will know everything that i've gotten from you know the the regular season also um i have the nba uh champion 76ers uh t so that was also a free item so whatever your favorite team is or whatever team you go to my career you got a free shirt to wear to the park whenever you want then you have the dynasty jacket i have a shit ton of patches after just one season um the patches don't look that crazy but I believe if I was like maybe a Brooklyn net or something like that, the this drum would look crazy because you know it'd be straight black. But since it's in sixer colors, it's not as appealing. You know what I'm saying? Like I got the rookie, the all star, you know what I'm saying? All that, like the champion, the you know, the the all NBA stuff. Like I got I got a whole bunch of patches on this joint. You know what I'm saying? The uh in season tournament stuff. So that's what I ended up uh winning from there. Um also, like I told y'all, uh the ring. Um, on the index finger, you you know your your twenty twenty five championship left uh ring joint. That's you know what I'm saying? cool, cool little ring, nothing too crazy. Um, and uh, I want to actually talk to y'all about a few things with the quests, right? So there are still quests and objectives that you have to do. Now I'm chasing something, right? Um, I'm chasing the greatest of all time. What that means is I'm looking to be the best player that ever played the game of basketball. The reason for that are the rewards. The reason why I started that six and a half hour stream of the, the secret rewards that you want to go for, these are the rewards. The greatest of all time tiers, tier five, four, three, two, one, they unlock something different. First off, you unlock 10,000 VC, right? Then you unlock a pair of shorts, you unlock a jersey, you unlock a pair of gold J's, and then you unlock that goat mask. Now, like I told you, if you're not a YouTuber, a streamer or something like that, where you have to interact with the chat and stuff like that, I promise you on everything I love, you could probably knock this out in about... I would say eight to 16 hours, depending on if you're one of those people that turn the commentary to Spanish in order for you to get through the halftime segment when they, they just automatically skip it because they didn't overlay their audio for Spanish. You can do that. Um, also, just play your key games. Forget jersey swaps. Forget All-Star Weekend. Sim through that playoffs. Make sure you are averaging before you get to the playoffs. Make sure you're averaging about maybe 60 and 5. If you're averaging 60 and 5, you'll be scoring 110 points on simulation. Like, as soon as you sim through the first four games, you'll probably sweep a team. Stuff like that easily. You know what I'm saying? So, go ahead and knock that out. And the reason why... Um, I decided to do that is, is the goat jersey is fire. The goat jersey is like the one thing that I'm looking for. I looked at the goat shorts. If you were able to change those to short shorts, I will I will rock with them too. But you know they kind of they kind of long now. Also, the Hall of Fame jacket. Build the greatest dynasty of all time. Become the greatest of all time. You do both of those, which. You will do because one goes hand in hand with each other. You get your Hall of Fame jacket that you can wear in the park wherever you want. That's pretty dope. Not only just for content, but just to show people like, yo, I give a damn. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? Some of my career stuff that I can accolades that I can actually chase things that I can actually see things that I can actually touch and get within this game by just grinding. You ain't got to pay a dollar for none of this stuff everything that you do as soon as you start my career you get your season xp to level 40 just by playing my career then you unlock vc for different quests and then you unlock a different you know direction or whatever the case may be for your career and you get dope items that you can wear in a park that not everybody's going to have because every grinder might be improving grounds. They might be in pro-am. But if you could take out that time to, you know, 18 to 36 hours, eight, that's it. 18 to 36 hours out of the entire year of 2K, you can get a lot of these items and knock all this stuff out. Um, also, there is something called Top of the Mountain. Now, these were T-shirts that were actually glitched.
um i know that a lot of people are probably going to come to this video and ask like yo what about the the t-shirts that give you the 1.5 you know rep you know bonus and all of that a lot of people were saying that it was a glitch a lot of people saying that 2k has now fixed that issue or whatever the case may be so i'm not technically chasing that but i know getting the goat gear creating a dynasty is like i said going to work hand in hand so there are five other t-shirts that not many people will have that you can get from just playing my career and you can wear them anywhere all right um now i told you guys about the off-season activity as far as the fiba in 2027 where you get the 25k vc but it starts after your rookie season so in your junior season or your, your third season I, I know a lot of people only like to say rookie and sophomore they don't like to say junior season they like to say third but once you once you get there you'll be able to play in that fiba game and get that 25k vc but there is build up that you have to do and remember all of this that you are doing you can play on five minute quarters on rookie sub out up 25 after halftime and get to it now um another thing i have completed all of this stuff like that but i can't i can't actually accept it yet until i've completed the offseason activity so you, even though i have all of the the two additional objectives done by winning an nba championship winning the mvp and winning nba all team um nba team i also won finals mvp so i don't want to say that i got stiffed on it it's just that the off season isn't done yet. So once I clear this objective, which is playing the FIBA uh, game using the play next game menu in Micro TV, and then head to arena to complete off season, I know that the off season of trades and all of that will start and it will trickle down to say, all right, you won this award ah, 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 because all of that stuff is already on my jacket as y'all saw. Team practice facility badge multiplier. This badge multiplier is great but it it does not work well for people who builds got grinded out all online if you are a person who was online and you did a lot of that grinding then you came into my career and noticed this team practice facility badge multiplier and you can't do it is because all of your badges are already maxed out like my build so with my build all of my badges are maxed out all my tier ones all my tier twos i have unlocked all of my badge perks including the max plus one because i hit level 30. um i use aerial wizard on hall of fame because alley-oops lobs or cheese i use set shot specialist on gold because who doesn't want to be able to hit a shot when you get past the ball um badge elevators i have not unlocked yet but badge elevators are not going to be good for people like me because i like i grind badges very very fast so getting a new build like being able to you know take a badge from silver and put it to gold pull it to you know hall of fame it, real fast that's pretty dope but it's going to take eight seasons to unlock all of them by that time my by the time season one is over and i create my rebirth for season two by the time season two getting to level 40 to get that next one is over that build is already going to be done and maxed out with badges you see what i'm saying so it really doesn't mean anything to me um performance multiplier i only have one in the nba don't have anything anywhere else the game only been out for 11 days <laughs> so don't have that also maximum overdrive i will have that as soon as i make my new build because i do have the rebirth like i told a lot of y'all and my first only ever build is 99 overall so i can make my rebirth right now but i can't do my rebirth until i finish this quest here the the best quest in the game i have to do seven more unique workouts which means it's going to take me another week and a day to do that because i have to do my workout in a day and few hours i think yeah no actually 23 hours from now so 23 hours from right now i'll be able to do my workout again and then i have to wait another seven days to do more unique workouts what unique workouts mean is that you can't do the same ones you did before so you see punching bag, treadmill, box jump, ag agility ladder. I can't do any of those workouts next time. I have to do unique workouts that I haven't done yet. 
in the game in order to get workout warrior okay i believe that i've told you everything that you need to know about nba 2k25 my career especially the first three seasons that you are going to be grinding um also in your second season if you have the time if you if you if you think that you know you have the time to play an extra three maybe four games you can then do the jersey swaps and they will still count you will still be able to get those jerseys and they will hang in your mock court all right um what i saw was a women yama sweat swap a brunson swap uh a shy swap like that was that was the only swaps that i that i kept seeing oh and i think i seen a, a scoot swap so portland new york uh san antonio and uh oklahoma city those were the only swaps that i saw in my rookie season but I chose not to do them because if they happen in the second season, that means I'll get the jerseys then because them dudes ain't retiring no time soon. All right. But um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, appreciate all the love that you guys have been showing me on my videos lately. Like I told y'all, man, um, getting the information about 2K and then relaying it to y'all. It's, it's what I'm trying to do. And I'm trying to do it in a fashion where I actually am doing these things and not just reporting them off of somebody else's footage or their gameplay or their screenshots. I'm actually trying to do it because I want to do it. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, sub up. Um, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Appa. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong, Papa, King Kong, King Kong.